the concrete masonry program here at Dakota County Technical College is uh, it's a uh, nine month diploma program with the option of coming back the second year to obtain the AAS degree. And we're broken down into thirds, a third block, a third brick, a third concrete finishing. We do get into the cultured stone. Um, so after they're done, I consider this pre-apprenticeship training. This program is as a pre-apprenticeship training program. Okay, then after they leave here, um, they can either go be a brick tender, you know, a labor, mix the mortar, carry the block. Um, they can start out as an apprentice bricklayer uh, and learn the trade two to three years, depending on how they how they test out here, up here at the end of the year. Um, or they can go cement finishing, concrete finishing, and do decorative concrete work. They're with me 100% of the time the first year, and if they come back the second year to obtain the AAS degree, it's all business classes. Usually we come in first thing in the morning from 7 to 8, we have our classroom, and then we go out into the shop for pretty much the rest of the day. In the spring of the year, we get out and do some fun projects. We go out and do patios and driveways. We color and stamp in the spring. That's the last part of the program. Students seem to have a lot of fun with that because we're actually out doing projects for real rather than in the shop doing mock-ups and turning them down. So that's a huge bonus at the end of the year. Also, uh, in the middle of the winter, we usually get into cultured stone. There's a big market out there right now for cultured stone, commercial and residential. So we, we spent a couple weeks in the wintertime on uh, laying cultured stone as well. Um, our hours are Monday through Thursday. First semester is 7 a.m. till 2 p.m. Second semester is 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. So we have a three-day weekend every weekend, which is nice. The students look forward to that. Um, Shop versus classroom, we're probably 27% classroom and 73% shop. Well, actually, this year we're doing a fun project out back. We're doing a concession stand for the, for the school. Um, there, there's three new soccer fields out back, and we're doing a 24 by 24 by 20 foot high concession stand, which entails um, um, all decorative block. They're all rock face block. Different colors, different colors of mortar, uh, bullnose block, um, bond beam block. Part of the curriculum is building a winter enclosure. So this to you, uh, we all know uh, in this wonderful state that we live in that it gets cold in the wintertime. So we have to put up scaffolding and close it with poly and throw heaters in there, which we're actually doing out back right now, um, and so we can work all winter. There's a huge uh, uh, demand for people who can lay cultured stone. Cultured stone is basically cast concrete that looks like stone, okay? And um, a lot of people call them lick and stick. Because uh, basically what you do is you butter the back of the stone and, and, and attach it to the wall. And then come back later and, and fill in the, the joints with the grout bag. Decorative concrete. There's a big market out there for decorative concrete right now. And that's fun work. That's a lot of fun to, to be creative and, and uh, uh, lay out different types of, of mats and different types of uh, stamps. Uh, there's a roller stamp that we use. There's different, a lot of different colors, a lot of variations you can use. So you can be real creative. Okay, so I guess if any students are interested in coming through the program, you know, they're going um, to want to be creative. Um, math is, is kind of a bonus, math and blueprint reading, they kind of want to be relatively um, good with math. Um, hands-on, you know, a lot of the program is hands-on. They have to be willing to work with their hands, be kind of creative, um, things of that nature. Um, be able to work outside. We're outside in all the different elements, you know, we're outside in the hot, we're outside in the cold. So. Uh, we're outside in the rain. Usually if, we, if it rains, we get rained out we, unless we're under an enclosure, which is fun. Much rather than sitting at a, at a desk on a, at a computer all day or uh, um, in a factory putting part A and part B together. You know, we're creative. We build things. Yeah, absolutely. When you're done with the building, you can drive by 20 years later and, and tell your kids that uh, you were part of that building when yeah. it was going up. So that's, that's a lot of fun as well.